they thought that the seizures were being faked, that they were psychological, and it, it was very frustrating because I knew that something was going on. It was also very detrimental to my life, and this neurologist just kept saying, no, we don't see anything, it's not real. Go see, go see a therapist. My name is Emily, I'm uh, Emily Borgard, and I grew up upstate New York by Saratoga Springs, and now I live in New York City, and I've had epilepsy since uh, 2005. I was actually in a car accident, and they saw seizures on the scene, and I ended up in the hospital. The main thing I lost because of my epilepsy, I can't drive, um, and that was after the accident, no longer could drive. And for a long time, I also just wasn't really living day to day. Once I found a neurologist who really believed in what was going on and wanted to find a solution, he later discovered that uh, I had been suffering from autoimmune encephalitis. And because it was too late to treat the autoimmune encephalitis, the, the seizures were going to be permanent. So we had to then focus on trying different medications. And for years, we played with doses, types of medications, just everything, and we couldn't get the combination right. It wasn't working. The, the neurologist I was working with was aware of the RNS system study that was about to happen, and he suggested that I, I would qualify as uh, somebody who could enroll in the trial, and really thought that that was the next step to take. I've had the RNS system for 10 years now. We've used that system to really narrow down the three types of seizures that I have and to adjust the medications to really go after those three types of seizures. And we also figured out there was one spot on my brain that was causing the most activity and the RNS showed exactly where that spot was so they were able to go in and surgically remove that tissue. And the system also showed the, they compared the seizure cycles with my hormone cycle and figured out that those two were correlated. And so they added another medication to get rid of the hormones. And since all of this has really helped me, I was able to go to France for three years and teach at inner city schools there. And from overseas, I was sending data to the neurologist over here. And I also went back to get my master's in, uh, in social, clinical social work. I now have a nine to five job, five days a week. I'm out doing volunteer work that I love. That would have never been possible before. I was, I was not functioning to the extent that I am now. I don't give up easily. I don't give up easily and I'm, gonna, I'm going to fight for what needs to happen. And that also just doesn't mean me, it means for other people as well. And that's, that's why I say paying it forward is really important to me because I, that, that really is who I am and I had lost that for some time and the RNS system gave that back.